Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to change the execution policy to run PowerShell scripts on Windows 11. Okay, let's dive right into the steps. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Alright, first, open start and look for PowerShell or the terminal. In this case, I'm just going to use the terminal and I'm going to right click and select the run as an administrator option. Now I'm just going to start a PowerShell session. Okay, so by default, Windows 11 and even Windows 10 block scripts to prevent malicious code from running on your computer. So if you try to run a script, as you can see right here, you're going to get this error message. However, it is still possible to run a script. You just need to change the execution policy for PowerShell. First, we're going to clear the screen and then we're going to run this command to confirm the current execution policies set for PowerShell. And currently it's set to restricted, so you can run scripts on your computer. And to view the effective PowerShell execution policies, this is an optional command, but I recommend it to run it. It's the same command, but using the dash list. Now, to change the execution policy to run the scripts on your computer, you need to run this command, which is the set execution policy remote sign. Once you do that, we can check the effective policies and you can see that for the local machine it's now set to remote sign. Now you can browse to the location where you have the script and I have this one right here. And then when we press enter to run the PS1 file, we're going to see that the script runs successfully. Although you can change the settings, once you completed running the scripts that you need, it is always recommended to change the execution policy to make it restrictive so you increase the security on your computer. And to do that, we can do it in two ways. We can run the same execution command, but then you need to use the restricted option. And then when we run the policy, we're going to get the same error, or you can use the undefined option. And now when you run the PS1 script, you're going to see that it will get blocked on your computer. And to check the effective execution policy, we can see that now the local machine is set to undefined. Now let's talk a little bit about the available policies that you can set to run or block scripts on PowerShell. The first one is the restricted mode, which actually blocks any script from running on your computer. The remote sign, is the policy that we use and that's the recommended one to use and it allows you to run the script that you created on your computer however script created on another computer won't run without a trusted signature all signed allows you to run all the scripts however only if a trust publisher has included a signature and the unrestricted as the name implies you can run any scripts without restrictions and as I show you, the undefined won't set any policy, but the default action will be to block any of the scripts that you run on your computer. Now, it is important to know that you can set the execution policy in different scopes. And the most common ones will be the current user and local machine. As the name implies, if you set it for the current user, it will only affect the account that you're currently signing in. And if you set it to the local machine, anyone that is signing on the computer will be able to run scripts if you set that specific policy. And to do that, if you want to be specific, you need to run this command. As you can see, the scope is set to current user and it's set to remote sign to allow scripts. And when you run that, we can see that the current user is set to remote sign. Now, if you want to set it for a local machine, you need to run the same command, but for the scope, just use the local machine option. And then when we check the current execution policies, we can see that both are set to remote sign. So now I'm just going to change this to undefined. And now we set the settings to the default configuration. And that's it. Those are the steps that you need to take to change the execution policy for running PowerShell scripts on Windows 11 and on Windows 10. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.